Hey friends, my name is Jen and I love cookies. I am going to rate today a cookie that is continuing the trend of giant cookies. <laughs> this one is from a company called Dirty Dough. They are based in Arizona, but ship nationwide. And I'm gonna do this first. This is obviously a very colorful cookie. On their website, I think it's called a birthday cake cookie, but I'm looking at the printout they gave me with this shipment. And there it's called a sugar cream cookie. And that is because I believe that somewhere stuffed inside of this cookie is actually butter cream, butter cream <laughs> frosting. So to pick it up and really show you the size of this thing relative to the hand scale, it is quite large and then obviously also very thick, um, absolutely covered in sprinkles, a little crumbly. Some of the pieces are falling off onto my plate. Smells like sprinkles and sugar, which is probably more or less what I would have expected. Um, not a lot more to say about it. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. First impression, this cookie is larger than my mouth. <laughs> and normally, um, really large cookies kind of like go like this. This one does the opposite. Like it does, it does go in a little bit, but it's just like really hard to, to make this work, to bite into this. That is a challenge. I'm gonna try again. It's definitely 100% the crumbly texture, um, both on the inside and the outside right now. Uh, I can see there are sprinkles. I need to take another bite. Hang on, I'm sorry. I am taking unusually small bites because it's difficult to eat this. So let me, let me get you a better view. Okay, so what I wanted to say is that, um, you can tell there are sprinkles actually mixed into the dough here. So they clearly rolled it in sprinkles on the outside um, after they shaped the dough, but there are also sprinkles spread into the inside. Um, continues to be just crumbly all the way through. I feel like the edge is more of a shell-like texture. Like you think of like candy that has a shell. I feel like this cookie has a shell, but most cookies do. Um, this one, I feel like I need to use the word shell because it is a harder, like, I have to really bite to get through the outside of this one because the inside is crumbly. That said, even though the inside is crumbly, it's not dry. And I feel like oftentimes if a cookie ends up crumbly all the way through um, and it's not soft in the center, then that ends up meaning that it's dry. And in this case, that is not true. So that's good. Um, yeah. <sighs> so flavor wise, I would say this is pretty solid. I think it's kind of your standard sugar cookie. There aren't that many things you can do to make a sugar cookie interesting. Um, I feel like what makes this one unique is definitely that crumbly texture. It does have a little bit of a taste from the sprinkles, especially because there are so many. I feel like sprinkles kind of tastes like artificial coloring, which <laughs> sounds really unappealing, um, but it's not as unappealing as it sounds. I like it, but that's what I would say it tastes like. It's like your pretty standard sugar cookie with lots of sprinkles. I do appreciate they use the sprinkles here that don't have crunch. Um, I've had a few cookies that have like the really small round sprinkles and they make it crunchy and I don't like that. Um, personally, I'm sure some people are into it. So I like that these ones are not adding a lot of like crunchy texture to it, but they are adding, adding, they are adding flavor uh, and also making it certainly a lot more visually appealing as well. I have not made it to any buttercream yet, so I'm not sure where in here that's gonna be. I'm not quite at the center, but I'm getting close. So I still haven't encountered any buttercream, but I had to stop here for a second because I've got two interesting things going on. 
First, I have made it to the center of this cookie and as is typical, the center is the softest part. What's fascinating to me is that in addition to being the softest, I actually feel like the center is a little bit drier than the rest of the cookie, which I've not really encountered before. I find that usually the center is both um, softest and the most moist. Um, but it's not actually dry in a bad way, it's dry in the best way because in the center, instead of being crumbly, it's flaky and it reminds me of Loft House cookies, which if you've been here since the very beginning are my favorite cookies. So they have somehow managed to create a Loft House cookie flaky kind of texture in the center of this otherwise very crumbly cookie. The second really interesting thing that's going on is that while I still have not encountered buttercream, as I said earlier, I have encountered oop, a few white chocolate chips that you can kind of see inside there in the center. So I'm wondering if perhaps the order printout is lying to me and there's not going to be buttercream in here. It's just that there are white chocolate chips that maybe sometimes melt. Um, I did eat one already. They are definitely white chocolate chips and not just like the white candy chips. And that is also a standard part of birthday cake cookies. So I was wondering if they were going to be in here and they are. Um, I'm just going to keep eating now though to see if there is buttercream somewhere or if it's just these white chocolate chips. Okay, so I made it through the entire cookie and I did not find any buttercream. The good news is I don't know that it needed it. In fact, it may have been better without it. I feel like that cookie was a really great balance of sweetness, um, probably in large part because of the sprinkles. I think the base dough itself wasn't overwhelmingly sweet, but the sprinkles added quite a bit. And I think that maybe if they had buttercream in the center, it would have made it too sweet. Honestly, even with the white chocolate chips, it was like a spike of sweetness that I was like, ooh, this is fine, but it's approaching the limit. I was surprised that these cookies didn't come with directions to warm them up because usually the large ones do. I honestly don't know that they needed it because I really ended up liking the texture, but I bet if I had warmed them up anyway, it would have melted the white chocolate chips a bit and maybe it would have been kind of like having a fried and stuff cookie. I don't know. In any case, I didn't miss it. Um, the best thing about this cookie was definitely the texture. I am really developing a preference for the crumbly cookies. I love that they somehow made the inside seem like a Loft House cookie because those are my favorite. Um, I liked actually the overwhelming amount of sprinkles. I feel like that was a plus that made it both visually fun and I think generally improved the taste, which normally I feel that sprinkles distract or detract from the taste. In this case, I feel like they really helped. Um, and even though it was a large cookie, it wasn't too large. Like I'm definitely very full now, um, but I didn't get tired of eating it like I sometimes do with these really large cookies. So. Overall, I would say as far as sugar cookie, birthday cakes, birthday cakes, uh, as far as sugar cookie, birthday cake cookies go, that was, I think, one of the better ones that I've had. Um, so let's go ahead and go with like an 8.0. It was definitely a super solid cookie. I wouldn't say it's like one of the greatest cookies I've ever had, but I think that might just be by virtue of like, it's a birthday cake cookie, so there's nothing that makes it like super standout-ish. But for what it was, it was definitely really good and I'm gonna go with a solid eight. So that was the sugar cream and or birthday cake cookie from Dirty Dough, Arizona or nationwide shipping. Um, it's Temp, Arizona, if you were curious. I'm sure they don't have a location in every city in Arizona. That would be crazy. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> if you like watching me talk about cookies, please like, comment, and or subscribe below. Thank you for watching. Have a fantastic day and eat more cookies.